I am, I am excited. I'm excited because I'm excited. I'm excited to be excited. I feel like the past couple months have been amazing, but they've been such hard work. And I feel like things have finally kind of come together and I feel nice and relaxed and I feel looser. I feel lighter. I'm super stoked. So on today's video, I'm going to go out and shoot some astrophotography. But first, uh, upstairs, we actually have a bit of a live music event with one of our baristas slash bartenders slash cooks, who's awesome. So I think I'm gonna go up and film and maybe shoot some photos of that, then go shoot some astro photos. So it's gonna be a fun night. But first, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace.com. Squarespace is an awesome place for photographers or anyone really to build a professional looking website really quickly. There are a lot of community-driven aspects that go beyond building the website as well. For example, you can make a gated community area to both earn revenue and connect with your audience. And if you're looking to streamline your photography business, there are loads of options to integrate third-party e-commerce programs, which allow you to take payments, manage inventory, promote products, and even streamline your bookkeeping and accounting. Of course, all of this is a bonus beyond the beautiful and easy to use Squarespace website templates they're known for. So head to squarespace.com slash Brendan Vanson for a 10% discount on your first purchase. Actually, I feel like me and Jody have really taken what we've learned from our like online communities and online businesses and made it work in the same capacity locally here in Lagos with the coffee studio. And it's really fun to see that come together. If I've learned anything in business, it's build community. And I think we've got a really cool community at the coffee studio, so I'm loving it. Um, I'm not loving the conditions for photography tonight. It, they're definitely not ideal. It's a, basically a full moon. It's out all night, but I've got a photography tour here in Portugal in a couple weeks and I need to start scouting some of the locations that I think will work, but I have to scout them at night. And since I don't have a lot of time, I've got to do it moon or not. So I'm going to try to make some photos tonight with the moon involved somehow and hopefully the stars, but it's gonna be tricky for sure. So uh, let's go. I think we're gonna to go to the West Coast today. So if you're wondering, I'm driving Jody's car because the Defender is at the shop again with a, a fan issue and it was overheating, but it's a, this is Zazu. This is Jody's car, it's kind of awesome. A Suzuki Jiminy, yeah, I love it. Anyways, I grossly, grossly underestimated how bright the moon is. I don't know how well you can see me or the moon behind me, but it's basically full. It's now midnight and it's so bright I, can, uh, I, I can't see a single star. So I don't know uh, how well the photo is gonna work. It might just mean I need to be a little bit more creative. I actually like using the moon in my astro photos, but I like it when it's right on the horizon. And I like it obviously when it's not totally full because it kind of creates, you know, it, it lights up the landscape. If you have a beautiful landscape and no moonlight, it's really hard to capture the landscape and the stars. So the moon kind of does that work for you a little bit, but it's doing too much work tonight. So. Uh, I'm stopping at probably three locations around Sagrash 
The first is uh, basically at the fort. It's taking photos, quite long lens, probably 200 millimeters at the lighthouse, hopefully with some stars above it. But like I said, I don't think there's any stars here. So we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so I've photographed this location before. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong light. Uh, I've photographed this location before. In fact, this is what it looked like in the daytime. It is so bright with the moon that it is just lighting up everything. I'm shooting f2.8, 13 seconds, ISO, 100, ISO 800. To give you a reference, for astrophotography, usually you're around ISO 3200 and 30 seconds, so it is extremely bright. I don't have a lot of stars in the sky, uh, but I think the image has some value. I don't think it's absolutely terrible. Let's push on and try to get closer to the lighthouse. I think if we do that, we'll be able to get more stars in our frame. So I've come really close to the lighthouse. Try not to fall off the cliff being blinded by my light. Uh, the lighthouse is there. The moon's up there. If I could have been here when the moon was just rising, it would have been epic probably, but uh, I couldn't be here. It, it's a really nice situation when you get the moon rising and giving it soft light, lighting up the landscape and then having stars above it. The moon's too high right now, but it is a cool location and I'm gonna give this a shot. The lighthouse, as you can see, well, no, you probably can't see, is really bright. So I'm probably gonna use a, a grad filter of some sort to try to hold back some of this light. The lighthouse is not only light, but it's lighting up all the ground here as well. So um, we're gonna do a 15 to 35 millimeter lens and then probably a two stop grad ND filter on the bottom. So let's see how this comes out. windy super super windy um i'm loving this i don't think the photos are good just because there's too much moon but i'm loving it there's something really peaceful about nighttime photography not just astrophotography but just shooting at night when you are doing sunrise or sunset it's about trying to time that five or 10 minutes of epic light with a wave crashing or, you know, everything needs to come together and it can be kind of stressful. And I love that. I love the rush and the sport of that. But this nighttime stuff is really chill because, you know, if you mess something up, you just shoot it again and you really do have all night and you really can shoot like five or six locations in one night. That being said, I have to work at the coffee shop in the morning tomorrow, so I'm limiting myself to one more location tonight. Uh, the moon's getting like straight up high and it's a little bit, it's getting to be impossible, but this is a scouting mission. So I'm trying to imagine what these locations would look like with just a little bit of moon or no moon at all. And uh, I think the next location could potentially work as well as just a big coastal viewpoint. So we're gonna head to Castellejo viewpoint. Well, probably should have wore a jacket. Uh, this last photo, I can't, I never know what to look when I'm holding the flashlight. Uh, this next photo is one I've been thinking about for a while. I'm at Castellejo viewpoint and I had no idea if this was gonna work. 
Uh, I still don't really know if it's gonna work, but what I do know is I tried something similar once in like the middle of the afternoon. And when I did that photo, I thought of this sort of situation with a moon lighting up the landscape and potentially some stars. And there's not a lot of stars going on right now, but I think this is potentially gonna be really cool. So this might not be the photo the way I want it to be in the long term. Eventually I want there to be some serious stars there and maybe a little bit of wider lens, but I think this is gonna come out pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically set it into velometer so that the camera's taking photos every certain amount of, basically just consistently over the next couple of minutes. And I'm gonna go walk out into that view, go stand and pose and let the camera do its work. So if you ever wonder how you get a selfie from a hundred meters away like I'm about to do, that's how you do it. You throw on the intervalometer on your camera and uh, you just take like a hundred photos and hope one of them is cool. I love <laughs> taking pictures at night. I absolutely love it, but I absolutely hate vlogging Astro. It's just so hard because you can't really show off the beauty of nature without spending hours and hours and hours and hours time lapsing. <laughs> there is going to be a lot of nighttime videos coming up because I do have this astro photography workshop in a couple weeks and I got to do more scouting and then of course the workshop itself will probably be filmed as well. So I'll try to work some sunsets in there as well too so you can actually see the landscapes. And I guess I'll see you guys there. Peace!